I'm just going to start with uh, Yam. It's Yum. impossible Fine. not to have watched this game and be – look, this is – because we've seen the other guys play. You have a idea. Neesmith, Romeo, we saw a ton of Peyton Pritchard, okay? Of course. We never, haven't seen Yam, haven't seen, um, you know, the French guy, and we're going to get his name wrong until somebody tells me. <laughs> uh, but is it Begarin? Yep. Be, that's where we're going with Begarin. There so you go. You nailed it. You've been practicing. We saw him. Um, so the first takeaways, uh, Yam looked like, again, I, we always use the thing. When, when we don't know about people, if you, if you brought an alien down and they said, here is basketball, watch it. And who would they say, and having never seen anything, having no idea when people were drafted or who they are, and said, who's the best player out here? It's hard watching that first half to not have had your eyes drawn to uh, Yam Madar, just in terms of what he did. So, guys, observations on what you saw. But, I mean, yeah, he's skinny as hell, but his shot looks good. He's twitchy, and he's confident. Like, he knows where he's going out there. You know, like, and that's kind of what you wanted to see there. So, what did you guys think? I think that's the best word, honestly. It was confidence. I, you know, I, I saw energy on both ends. I mean, he's picking guys up from full court. And obviously, you sort of expect that. It's the very first game in summer league. He's coming from overseas. He's obviously been talking the talk in the sense that he has a lot to prove. And he's not planning on going back. His mission is to make this team. So you expect that sort of Good. energy. But it he made it. Done. He, right. made, he, he made, made the throughout. team. He just, yeah. He just like You're on little Carson's little. out. Nice job. <laughs> You know what? He seemed like to be one of those guys who was like, look, I'm the, I'm not here. I, well, I'm here to not only prove myself, but I'm here to lead these guys. Like, I'm going to show you on another level. And I felt like it translated on both ends of the floor in the sense of uh, whether he was looking for guys for open looks, attacking, and then on the defensive end, up in everyone's faces and even going for, you know, rebounds on both ends of the floor. You know, I thought that was interesting. His effort just to – he just seemed like a magnet, you know, in terms of – that basketball and he seemed to find a way to sort of get around it every single time while he was out there. Yeah. Kind of long. He like gets his arms and hands around there. Um, you know, quick. I liked what I saw in the limited amount that I saw. I didn't see the very beginning of the game hand up. So I, I did miss like the initial, like Yam. Miss a little spin move reverse. Yeah. yeah I, I did see the highlight of it, but I didn't see it live. So that's on me, but I, I, I did, you know, I watched the rest of the game and I, I do agree with John that he was a player that just kind of stood out. You know, he was, kind of playing it just sort of like a different maybe I'm not gonna say different level it wasn't like he stood out that much but different sort of energy to him a little little you know I guess hop in his step so um you know it's good to see because all we had was that you, you know YouTube clips and again like that's why I judge every player is on YouTube videos but it was good to get a little live uh live action view of him today um I think he's definitely good enough to make this roster certainly he played harder than a lot of his teammates did today and guys that listen it's summer league but you're looking for you're looking for a little sign of life out of some of these guys, the Romeos, the Neesmiths, and and uh, you know, put it not this even way, life. You want I'm these still guys looking. to dominate. I'm still looking. <laughs> I know. I I would love them to dominate, but at this at this point, my my, you know, uh, my uh, I'm, I'm so low. I'm so low on what I expect. My expectations are so low that I just want to see them like show a sign of life out there. But yeah, I'm still not on the roster. Saw some flashes today. I honestly thought as a creator, which is what they wanted Pritchard to kind of show out here in the summer league, he looked better in that capacity than Pritchard did, even though Pritchard had a good shooting game. So to you, is there a chance that Jan could have a not only a roster spot here, but a real role in this team next year? I'm going to – I don't think that he's going to have a real role with the team. This was a great start, great start. But I still think that his, his – size uh and I'm not, I'm not talking about length i'm just talking about his physical dimension he's a skinny guy i don't think that's going to help him in fact it will be more of a detriment uh if anything once you get your guard you have to go against guys like marcus smart uh yeah. guys like you know even freaking steph curry you know could, could play bully ball with him i think at this point it always, and, it always hurts your chances yeah so i, I think that that's going to keep him from you know really having a significant role but yeah listen, his understanding of the game, his IQ, that is it's really awesome. legit. It's legit. I mean, he he did this one move, and, and, and you know, it's it's so subtle that I know the coaches will probably point this out, but the average fan, it just didn't make sense, and you wouldn't even pick up on it. He gave this, like, jab step like he was going to set a screen, and he just pulled back towards the baseline. They passed in the ball, had a wide-open baseline jumper. That's something that coaches can't coach. That is something that you as a basketball player – have an IQ for that or you don't. Little mm. things like that, I think, are going to help him make the roster. But again, I don't think he's, I just don't think physically speaking, he's going to be able to make much of an impact. 
and that's the thing because he's obviously he's a 94 foot player you know like he's there he pesters you uh he wants to get up on the ball handlers but you saw it a couple times you know he came up against a screen and it was boing you know like it's definitely the physical and i'm just talking not even full contact on it just brushing up against bodies and he gets knocked off his stride he definitely needs to you know he needs more of that man strength you know right now Right, yeah. and I would I would love for him to be on a team where he could get that experience. He could work with the Celtics. He could be up in, in Maine and going back and forth, and just gradually physically get get bigger and do that within the confines of the Celtic system. And I, I think that to me that that's one of my biggest draws to him being having one of those roster spots is that he gives you someone that you can literally develop. Who, from a basketball IQ standpoint. I don't think you have to do much tinker with that, but he physically has to get stronger. And you can control that if you're the Celtics much better than you can if he's here than if he's overseas.